Hello and welcome to Live With Love and in this channel I talk about ancestor money. Ancestor money is a big thing but I also talk about spiritual things, spiritual, spiritual things you know. So in this one I wanted to talk about the seven deadly sins. Have you ever heard of the seven deadly sins? I'm not a religious person. I don't go to church. I don't want you know but it's like I know I believe in God. God is everything. Everything comes from God. You know, that's that's just how I see it. You know? But seven deadly sins. The seven deadly sins are characteristics or behaviors that are that are deadly. Most of the characteristics of the seven deadly sins are energy. Energy. People that are doing these seven deadly sins are not how do you say dispositions towards sin and separation from God lust for example could result in adultery <clears throat> which is a mortal sin or could lead to somewhat less intentional immortal thoughts that will be classified <clears throat> as venal sins but let me just tell you what the seven deadly sins are <clears throat> in Roman Catholic theology because I was born Catholic in the Catholic Church, mother, father, Catholic. <clears throat> my whole family's Catholic. Like, why can't I talk? Like, oh my God. <clears throat> but here we go. The first deadly sin is vain, glory, or pride. That's a deadly sin. Being too prideful is a sin. Greed. Being greedy. Lustful. Greed. Greed is different from lust. That's a whole separate one. But number two is lust. Like, everything is sex. You can't think of nothing else. Everything is lust. Everything is sex. That's a deadly sin. Number three. Three is lust. That's everything is sex. Thinking everything is sex. Number two is greed. Like, being greedy. Greedy for money. Greedy for food. Greedy for, you know, just being greedy. You know, envy. Jealousy. That's also, you know, a sin to be envious. The fifth is gluttony. Gluttony is too much of something. That's like being drunk. Drunkenness. Being a glutton to drink. Glutton for food. Just being a glut. Glut. Gluttony. Wrath. Wrath is anger. That means that you get angry too fast or you don't know how to control your anger and you know that's why people have anger management classes or they need to take anger management because they can't control their wrath they can't control their anger sloth is number seven is sloth sloth is lazy lazy being a lazy mother a lazy oh i can't stand a lazy fool because i am not lazy i am i do everything so each of these can be overcome by the seven corresponding virtues. So the first one was vain, to be vain. And the, the, the virtue of vain is to be humble. Greedy, to be greedy is, you know, you just want everything for yourself. The virtue of being greedy is charity. That's to give, you give to people. That's the opposite of being greedy. Chastity is lust. The virtue of lust, being lustful, like everything is sex. Sex, you all you want to do is have sex. Like that's all you think about is sex. The virtue of being lustful is chastity. That's like you being, it's not having sex. What do we call that? Not have celibate you're celibate your chastity you're holding your chastity you're like you're celibate number four is envy envy the virtue of envy is gratitude so instead of you being jealous and hateful of somebody because of what they have you be grateful to them for what they have you be just be grateful like you don't have to be envious of a purse of a person be grateful that they have whatever they have or you know you be happy for them you don't have to be envious. Gluttony. 
that's being <laughs> that's like being drunk. Gluttony. The virtue of gluttony is temperance. That's like just being patient. <clears throat> temperance. Okay. Well, no. Temperance. And the gluttony versus temperance. So and that's the, the virtue of gluttony is temperance. Once it is too much of something. So that's just being, I guess, tempered with things. Like not overindulging in things. Not going overboard in things. Like, you know, you're temperance like you're holding yourself yeah you know, being greedy you're, you're you're trying to be satisfied with what you have instead of being a glutton for it you're being temperance being balanced you're being content number six is wrath or anger you're angry the virtue of wrath is patience you have to be patient so that you're not angry you're not you know you're not the wrath someone's wrath someone's fire someone's like it's like the worst of something you don't want to feel god's wrath when you disobey him or for his for your disobedience you will feel god's wrath you feel his anger you'll feel you feel it just be patient, wait, sloth, sloth is being lazy, sloth is laziness, lazy, you don't want to get up, you don't want to work, you don't want to do nothing, you want to sleep all day and you expect everything to be handed to you, life is not like that, <laughs> you have to work, diligence, the, the corresponding, the virtue of being a sloth, a lazy bastard, being a sloth, is diligence you're working you're you're being consistent with your things you keep going don't stop you don't stop doing what you're doing it's like you keep going your diligence with it the seven deadly sins can be thought of as dispositions towards sin and separation from God lust for example could result in adultery which is a mortal sin or could lead to somewhat less intentional immortal thoughts that would be classified as venial sins the deadly sins were a popular theme in morality plays literatures and the art of the middle ages in europe so it's like you know things like this you always think of it as mythology you don't think it's real you don't think you don't think about it but you know these are real things these are real emotions these are real energies people carry people are like this people are envious people are angry people are greedy they are vain they are prideful within themselves they are greedy envy gluttony wrath sloth like these are all energies of the deadly sin that means that you are separated from god and that's why you behave this way this way these are this is double energy so when you are around a person and they're acting a certain kind of way they're jealous they're envious they're angry all the time they're lazy <laughs> greedy lustful prideful that is all double energy and you gotta pay attention pay attention pay attention to the energy because the energy is not gonna lie to you people are gonna lie to you they're gonna be like what like no like oh my god like i would never oh mm, you bugging no energy is not gonna lie to you if people are gonna lie to you they're gonna make you think that you're crazy or you're tripping or you're bugging out or oh my god like why would you say that why would you think that? it's because you know energy is not gonna lie like people are gonna show you people are gonna tell you and you have to pay attention pay attention please please pay attention pay attention pay attention pay attention like i'm gonna attach this article 
in the description box so you can see it for yourself i'm also gonna print it in there so you can also just read it and you can just check it out for yourself these are deadly sins i use wikipedia this is global this is all over the world what are the deadly sins it's all over the world like it is not a secret <laughs> it is not a secret people know this they just don't talk about it nobody wants to talk about what is a deadly sin what is double energy you walking and talking with double energy and you don't even know it <sighs> i'm gonna text the articles in here you can check it out read it for yourself seven deadly sins prideful vain being greedy, being lustful, that's three. Envious, gluttony. Gluttony is like being a drunk, being, you know, overindulging in something. Wrath, the wrath, being angry, being <sighs> awful. Just being awful for no reason. You don't have no reason to be acting like that and you're just acting crazy for no reason. That's the wrath. Like, why, why are you acting like this? double energy and lazy sloth sloth is like the last seven deadly sin when someone is lazy they're just lazy they don't want to do anything with themselves with their life they don't want to work they don't want to get a job they don't want to do anything they want to sleep all day and it's like bro like are you fucking kidding me like is this this is what you want to do with yourself that is double energy and you gotta snap up out of that you gotta be diligent you gotta keep going you always gotta keep moving you gotta keep the energy flowing everything is energy and energy always has to flow you always gotta keep moving forward even if you don't want to get up and do anything you can get up get out there do something like don't don't be a sloth <laughs> that's all i'm saying always leave with love and I'll see you later. Bye.